Knowing the anatomy of your sewing machine can help you diagnose problems and also make you sound more knowledgeable when you're sewing. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown so that you know the basic parts of your sewing machine as you work with it. First and foremost, we have over here the bobbin housing and the throat plate. The bobbin housing on mine is um, uh, an upper liftoff kind of version. And then inside is the bobbin case and of course the bobbin. You have your presser foot and your needle, which is also an option for a needle plate. And then you have the, um, this one has an automatic threader, which is over here. You have your cutter on the side. Over here you have your stitch guide, your stitch selector, and the speed of your, the stitch speed option. Um, my machine has a little um, fancy scissors icon, on, which means that it will cut the thread. Uh, a needle down position, and then of course the reverse stitching option. Uh, we'll go up top now, where over here we have the bobbin winder, and when you need to use a double needle, you'll put this spool in place, which will be uh, for the second spool of thread that you would use. This is the tension lever for the bobbin winder, and then you have your thread path. So you go through some little clips here, and down through the tension discs, up through the uptake lever, which is the little arm that you'll see moving right here, and then down, of course, into the needle. You have your tension selector right here. And in general, those are the basic parts of any sewing machine. Um, I don't know if I told you, the throat plate is over here as well, uh, as well as the feed dogs. So that's down on the bottom. You might have skipped that one, but we'll come back in because it's important. That's the throat plate with the feed dogs. Now, you always want to make sure you look at your um, operation manual because it will have a guide on there just in case yours has any special parts to the machine that you not, you're not aware of um, and anything maybe I didn't cover. But that's the basic anatomy of your sewing machine. So now when you talk about sewing, all your friends will be impressed. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about it. I've enjoyed teaching you.